Hello, water signs. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. I just got a new inspiration. Whew, I'm ready for this. So, we just got what you're reading is coming up here. With the mermaid deck, the devil is just flew out the top. Mm-hmm. Capricorn energy. Yes. I just feel like we're going. We are... <sighs> Y'all, you know, I just feel like water signs. We some mermaids, so I'm using this mermaid deck. But I'm trying to tell you, we got some some things going on here. You know, I got these cards, um, and I had these for a while, right? And I never understood why I was drawn to both the mermaids and the ocean for water signs. Because I was like, okay, so why do I need two separate decks for water signs? And I just got the understanding that it was that the mermaids are us, are the actual, are our signs ourselves, and the ocean is what's going on around us. So that's what I have to use those decks for. I don't even know why I'm telling y'all this, but it just came out to me. Wow. Did y'all see that? Okay. The High Priestess in reverse, the Chariot, and the Six... Oh, Lord. Okay, so we got the Devil Capricorn card. We got the High Priestess Pisces card. We got the Chariot Cancer card. And we got the Six of Pentacles for balance. So, somebody is in something... They do not need to be in. Mm -hmm. Ooh. The T is coming. We got the Sun, which is Leo card, and the Empress, Taurus Libra energy. But look at all these big major cards we got here. So this, something is happening to somebody who's a water sign because Lord knows. This is all the big cards, okay? All of them. Shooting out the deck. So we got the day of the devil. The devil. We got the devil with negative energy. <laughs> I don't even know why I say with the accent. Maybe this person has an accent. The devil. Mmm. Mmm. Ooh. Mmm. Oh, no. They're telling me it was right the first time. This is supposed to be in this one. Sorry. Okay. Sorry, 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 sorry. It's confusing, but when they pop out like that, and I didn't know there was another one underneath it. Okay, so, the devil is negative energy. Someone may be purging negative energy, or someone may be letting that negative energy control them instead of using their intuition with this high priestess in reverse, and not leaving something with this chariot in reverse, right? Something very unbalanced with the six of pentacles in reverse. And they're seeing that through that side, there is trouble, right? Because they feel like they deserve happiness with the sun. Let me show you all these cards because maybe then you can feel what I'm feeling. Look at this devil. Trapped. Okay. Trapped. Poor baby is trapped inside some negative energy. Just trapped. Stuck there. Suffering. Absorbing it. It's not even uh, 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 uh. Releasing it. And we got this high priestess here, right? This is a person who knows better, who summons better, who who intuitively creates better in reverse, right? So maybe you're going against your intuition of getting up out of here with this chariot card. Further emphasized, right? It's a chariot, it's cancer. You're supposed to, the chariot is when you go to something or come from something, right? Look at them gearing up the horse. The seahorse. They're gearing up the seahorse to go running. But it's in reverse. So, you ups you stuck in some negative energy. Which you intuitively know is not good for you. You're being told to run and you still stay. And it's completely unbalanced with the Six of Pentacles. Completely unbalanced. There's no uh, e there's not equal give and take. Uh, you know, 
for whomever this is, it's probably just give, 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 and they just take, 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 take. And you're like, what the? This is not, you are the devil. Who just takes, takes, takes like this, right? Who just does that and leaves me trapped and depleted? We got the sun here, the happiness, right? This is what you feel like you deserve, especially after all that giving, giving, giving you did un unbalancedly. This is what you feel like you deserve. You deserve the sun. I'm not here to tell you that you don't. Really not. Because um, from the way I felt on these cars, how hot I'm getting right now. Mm-mm. 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 Let the birds fly. Let the birds fly. Bye. You want happiness within yourself. The Empress. Now look at her. She is pregnant too. Everybody is having something go down. But yes, you want to feel complete with this. You know, the Empress is a three. You want to feel complete. Complete. Happy and complete, blissful, right? And you're over, and you're thinking, how did you even get stuck in this situation with this devil? How did you even get here? A lot of people are are uh, re-examining how they got in a situation that they got into. And then we got the Ten of Swords right here. It's a death. It's a death. You're tired. You're trying to act like it's all cool, but you are gone. And your spirit right here is rising up, trying to tell you, this is killing you. Okay? Whatever situation you're in, it is killing you. Literally. Stop it. It's killing you. Page of Wands. Um, this could be a new person in your life, but I'm getting more of a like... You're um, trying to... This has been a new um, thing for me with this other deck I saw. It was like a new path that you're trying to follow. A path of inspiration that you're trying to get onto. But you're really trying to see the light here. You see how she's looking in this crystal ball? You were really trying to see the light at the end of the tunnel. It's like you're trying to see the sun through that little ball. And it's not um, entirely it. You're trying to see the sun through there and it's not... Not working out for you, or you know, the sun is so much bigger than that little ball. Like, you're not gonna, you can't contain the sun in that little ball and that little circle of life. You have to expand beyond that. I just had another message about expansion. Um, if you watch, it's gonna be uh, um, a video on my channel just called Expansion. That's all it's gonna be called is Expansion. Now, I'm probably gonna have a, uh, I'm gonna see, I haven't, it's still uploading right now. So I don't know if I'm going to do a picture of Jupiter on there or not. Yeah, three of wands. You're going in the direction you're supposed to be going in. And cutting off anybody, anybody who tries to stop you from doing it. With this page of wands, you've seen the light. So it's usually like, here's how I do it. Ace of wands, you get new inspiration, right? Two of wands... You're looking at it. Three of Wands, you're walking towards it. Four of Wands, you found it and you're, and you're in bliss. Five of Wands, you're fighting everybody else to keep it, right? And so on and so forth. But with this page I'm getting right here, you see it. It may not even be within you. It may be within somebody else. Or it may be within um, a teacher or a guide or whoever. Um, but you see it and now you're trying to go towards it. Right, and cutting off anybody who's going to stop you from doing it. I can't even hold these cards right. Jesus. And we got the Ace of Swords. So you need to get, and you get a new perspective on the whole thing. On everything. On everything. Everything in life. Everything. Beyond uh, 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 just like your person. Beyond just uh, your family members. Beyond just, uh, just about life in general. What life means. What everything in life... Uh, is pertaining to you what 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 your purpose is in life all of it you're getting a whole new perspective off everything so you i'm surprised the tower hasn't come i'm sure it's coming i'm sure it's coming i haven't had a tower in a minute to be honest i'm thinking about it i haven't seen a tower um in in one of my readings in a little minute here i feel like it's coming though 
Any more shooters? Any more shooters, Lord? Any more shooters? Any more shooter cards? Got a slide out. I don't want to take a slide out. There we go. I want the shooters. Yes. Eight of Swords and Ten of Wands. Ooh, water signs. I just, you need to watch, because this came on the exact same spot in the expansion deal. The exact same spot. These exact, not, it's not even this deck. It's a whole, it was that deck. That, um, witchy Halloween deck. This is the, you know, the mer it, these exact cards. I'm trying to tell you, you were bound. You were bound not being able to speak your truth. You were bound by this devil. Bound. And the struggle is over. The Ten of Wands. The struggle is over. The struggle is over. Ooh, that's a, a beautiful mermaid tail. It's a beautiful tail. Ooh, the struggle. Two of Pentacles. The choice. Mm. Choices are happening. Choices are juggling. Maybe the choice has been made. Seven of Wands. A fight. I'm telling you, I mentioned the expansion uh, video and not all these cards are the same cards that are popping out in this expansion video. So check that out. I'm not trying to be that person. Just make sure you watch the video, but legit. <laughs> if you watch the video, you're like, whoa, these are the exact same cards from a whole different deck. Okay? And some of them in different positions too, but you know. And we got this four of wands here. Mm-hmm. So the choice you're fighting is leaving you unhappy. The choice you're fighting leaves you unhappy. You are... <laughs> I mean, your situation is leaving you unhappy. Look at the freaking devil. You're suppressed. You're repressed. You're not even um, living your best life at all. Did I mention signs? I know I mentioned the devil for the Capricorn, uh, Leo for the sun, high priestess, Pisces, chariot, cancer, you know. But there's a good, there's a good, there's a lot of, uh, outside of the major cards, it's earth and air, right, and wands. We don't have much cups here. This is what I'm trying to say. You know what I'm saying? Like, there's not much of a deep emotional um, pain happening at this particular moment. It's much more so of a communication and stability uh, air. And you're taking action to try and uh, uh, negate that. We have this Five of Swords here. Oh, excuse me. We have this Magician. Oh, look at the Magician in the sack. Yes. Again, with that crystal ball. Okay. That's the same one that was in that page. This is the same ball. This was manifested. This was manifested. Okay. This was manifested. You know what? No, you're right. Because this was land right here. And then... Okay, so this is this five of swords here. You went from four to five to ten. You went to struggling. You went from struggling, right, to understand what happened, to trying to speak about what happened, and getting confused that way to just straight up dying off of it. I mean, look at all these swords over here. Four of swords, five of swords, eight of swords. And these are all the dark, these are not the happy swords, ten of swords. You know what I'm saying? Like, your communication has been, been horrible. Your communication with yourself has been horrible. You haven't been talking to yourself the right way. You haven't been honest with yourself enough. Because if you're honest with yourself, you will see that cage around that devil and run. Because you're manifesting a victory. Yes. You are manifesting. A, you manifested inspiration to win. That you're going to win. And you're walking on that path. And you're trying to work on it with this Eight of Pentacles in reverse. You're trying, you haven't really worked on it yet. You're trying to work on it. You're trying to get a new perspective on how to work on it. With the star in reverse with this path, like I said, you're cutting off everybody that's in your path because you have a new perspective about it, right? 
But with both of these cards, and this star is Aquarius energy, with both of these both of these cards being in reverse, I'm getting it right here that you're not currently you got the understanding this is what you need to do, but you haven't done it yet. Again, with this four of wands here, with this full moon, maybe this Halloween full moon. I'm putting everything on this Halloween full moon, y'all. Okay. Everything. So if y'all uh don't believe for the full moon, I don't know what to tell you. Because I'm trying to tell you, this full moon, I feel like it's going to bring a lot of things. A lot of things. This is in reverse. But yes, so. You have the realization. You just got to put in the action. But with these wands right here, whenever you get to this step, it's good. It's good to go. You have to struggle with the amount of work you have to put in, probably. But once you put that amount in, you're going to be, you're just going to keep rolling and rolling and rolling over, right? It's going to keep rolling and rolling over. This was Eight of Pentacles, and I'm just getting, I'm just staring at these two cards because with this Eight of Pentacles and the Three of Wands, you're not looking forward to the work you have to put in to get it. You know you still do have to cut people off, and you know that it's your path. And you have a new perspective on it. But you're still not... You're like, you're resisting. That's the word I'm looking for. Resisting. There's a resistance from within you that needs to be uplifted and, 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 and taken up out of you. There's a resistance. Mm -hmm. So water signs, I don't know who this is for, but I'm excited. Because every single reading I've been doing lately has talked about somebody breaking something. A lot of the something gets broken. That's why I feel like people need to come here so they can get something broken. Come to this channel. If you resonate with anything in this, please like, comment, subscribe, and share, 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 share. So we can break some things off of some people. Break some things. Because I just feel like right now with this devil, whoever you're dealing with, you're dealing with somebody. Right. I mean, you could just be dealing with your own inner demons and your own negative energy. But I'm getting, well, whomever or whatever put you in this cage... It's time for you to break free. It is time for you to break free. You've been in that cage for too long. Too long. Too long. Too long. All right. Oh, you know what? That's not even going to be the end of it. I'm going to get you some messages or whatever because I wanted to use these cards too. Uh, I can't remember what these were cards anyway. These aren't the, the message from the mermaids is right there. This is a different one. I don't know if it's the Mermaid Oracle. I have to look it up. But my candle exploded. If y'all can see the little red. My candle, um, the one I had before, that long red one. It leaked everywhere. So if you, you can even see the on the mat a little bit. It's messy over there. It's like, oh, not the mat, but the cloth over there. And so I'm like, I need to get a new altar cloth. Because it just went all over everything. And get on these cards. and didn't get on those cards. Just on these cards. So I feel like maybe it was supposed to infuse them with something. I don't really know. Do we have shooters from this oracle? Shooters. 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 You know, oracles don't like to do shooters. It's really weird. Or maybe I just don't use the deck enough. Like romance angels sometimes would do shooters. But I don't consider that an oracle. Mm, these turn slightly, so we're gonna go with those. Yeah, it's farewell to the moon. Oh, and it's sticking. Yearning. Mm -hmm. Someone's yearning for you, or you're yearning for somebody else. Faithful to the moon. Enjoy the lunar light and cycles. A few of them here. We got the, the crane bag, sacred ocean medicine, clutter, declutter, choice. Uh, going over that two of pentacles, that choice. Transparency, being honest, authentic, genuine, and present. Yes, and the last one here we have Atlantis. Rapid development, excellence, and success. So I think these five cards just told the whole story right here. They just told the whole story. You were yearning for somebody. That's probably what was keeping you trapped. In that devil energy, you was yearning 
for a person. It may not be a particular person, but just for a person in general. You're yearning for a person, for a connection, for something else. And now you're starting to appreciate yourself, right? You're starting to appreciate you and everything that you have. And we have the crane bag here. This crane bag, you're you're making a choice to declutter your life, to give yourself some sort of sacred me medicine, to to spiritually heal yourself, right? You're being honest, you're being genuine, and you're starting to grow rapidly, like Atlantis. You know, um, there's some tales that say that Atlantis it was Euphoria, right? Was a, was a uh, Euphorian society. Where it's not to say they didn't have any conflict or anything like that, but they were beyond the petty little things that we still deal with on a day-to-day -day basis on Earth here, right? So when you when you get Atlantis, I just think of you're upgrading into a whole different world, a world that maybe you're not used to to upgrade into, or you're not used to being in, because it's different, but it's successful, it's excellence. And you're going to get there quickly. It says... Rapid development. Right? Rapid. You see, she's going up there real, real fast. Floating. Feeling heavenly. Mm hmm. Alright, y'all. Water signs. Please like, comment, subscribe, and share. This is officially the end now. <laughs> So, um, lots of love and light. I love y'all. Namaste.